Okay, this presentation, I'm going to be talking about the word Hamim. There are actually two meanings used of this word in the Quran. It could either refer to boiling water or an intimate friend. The question is, what do these two have in common? Because we know that in Arabic, words derived from the same root have a connected meaning. Arabs use the word Hamim for a rain that comes in a time of intense heat. You can imagine, you know, the ground is intensely hot and then all of a sudden it starts to rain. Now when the water hits the ground, you'd see the water, it's, it's like it sizzles and it evaporates. So you get that imagery. So that's what Hamim was. It was the rain. Now the question is, what does that have to do with an intimate friend? Now Arabs use Hamim metaphorically when they actually use it with the meaning of friend. That this intimate friend is like this rain. Now you know sometimes when, when you have problems in life and you're feeling down, then you have this friend that comes and he's the one that, that you talk to, who gives you advice, who consoles you, who, who shows you that things are not as bad as they are. It's as if that this intimate friend is the rain and the heat is the problems that one is facing. So that's, that's the relation between these two meanings. The meaning that I am focusing on is the meaning of intimate friend. Now there are two verses in the Quran that I'm going to share with you. Now the first one is talking about, it's talking about the Day of Judgment and before one is about to enter the hellfire. So it's a very difficult time for this person. And it says, and no friend will ask anything of a friend. So as we said, the Hamim was somebody that's always there for you. When problems arise, he or she is there for you. So for example, say your intimate friend is in trouble. Obviously you're going to, be, you're going to ask, what problem is he in? And you can ask yourself, well, what can I do to make it better? How can I help him? But on this day, these close, intimate friends will not ask about each other because they will be preoccupied with their own state. Now the final verse talking about in this life, and it's saying, let me just read the English translation and I'll explain the last part of it in Arabic. It says, and not equal are the good deed and the bad deed. Repel evil by that deed which is better. Thereupon the one whom between you and him is enmity will become as though he was a devoted friend. So, devoted friend, Waliun Hamim. Wali is an ally or a protector of one, Hamim. In this case, it's actually an adjective of Wali. So it's, it's saying that this ally or protector is a Hamim meaning that he is the one that will be your close friend and the one that you will go to when times are tough and that he will be there to support you. If just Weli was used, the word Weli, it wouldn't indicate the closeness, the personal closeness with this person. It's a very close bond. Now, also the, the word Hamim, as we said, was it's a, it's a rain when there's intense heat. In this case, what was the what was the intense heat? The adawa, the enmity, was this heat. And then, when you, when you did good to this person, then the rain came, and cooled it down. You can't get that language when you read English translations. So, subhanallah, it's um, you know, it's it's probably a reason why people should learn Arabic. Wassalamu alaikum, Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wasallam.